Hey guys, it's Tanamai, and today we're going to be ranking the most popular characters from The Office based on how sane they are. I know it's a bit of a weird tier list, but let's get right into it. First off, we got Jan, and at first you kind of think like, oh, she's just crazy, but no, 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 she is insane. Like, you know, if you really think about it, the things and the way she manipulated Michael and just, just how much of a disaster Jan is, she's definitely insane. Even though Toby's weird, I'm going to put him in rational. Like, he's not, he's not a, like, as a human being, he's, he's rational. He's, like I said, he's a weird dude, but... I'm just gonna leave him in rational. I'm gonna put Pam insane. There's not much to say about the sane people, but you know, I'm gonna put Jim also insane. I feel like those are the two that are like the most human being people in the show. That's just a weird way to say that. But you know what I mean? I'm gonna put both of them insane. I'm gonna put Angela in crazy. Sometimes the clothes at Gap Kids are just too flashy. So I'm forced to go to the American Girl store and order clothes for large colonial dolls. Maybe. Just with her cats, and she literally hires a hitman to kill Oscar, right? Kill him? Maybe just break his kneecaps. But Angela, no, insane. I just, like, said she tried to kill a man, and I didn't put her in insane. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna go insane. Next up, I'm gonna put Stanley in Rational. Really likes Pretzel Day. I I'm a big fan of soft pretzels as well. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on Pretzel Day... Well, I like pretzel day. But that's also the thing with, like, Stanley is, like, I feel like he takes a bit, like, a step too far. Like, he almost idolizes the pretzels, so that's why he's not completely sane, but he's definitely a sane person, just more, like, rational. Next up is Daryl. I'm gonna put Daryl insane. This is another normal human being. I'm gonna move on. Creed is insane. Creed, Creed, yeah, no. Pretty much every line Creed has is an insane line. Extraordinary events call for extraordinary actions. We form an allegiance. Sure. To use sudden violence. Okay. Do you have the tools to turn a wooden mop handle into a stake? Which size? He is the opposite of sane. He is the epitome of insane. Next up we have Andy. I'm gonna put Andy in... Ridiculous. Because he pushes a hole through a wall at some point. He's, he's a pretty sane person, but he can go insane sometimes. So I'm gonna even it out, put him right in the middle. Ridiculous. I'm gonna put Meredith in Ridiculous. She does some sketchy things. Her son, you know, she's, I don't know if she's a very good mother, but I'm just gonna put Meredith in Ridiculous and move on to Kelly, who at one point pr convinces Ryan that she's pregnant. So that, that just right there puts her in crazy. She's a complete drama queen. Just, just kind of a disaster. Next up we have Erin, and I'm not gonna put her in Sane. I'm gonna put her in Rational. And the reason she's not going insane is just because insane, not, the reason she's gonna go in Rational and not in the Sane tier is because she's like one of the stupidest people on the show. Kevin is, oh, he's ridiculous. He's not even a human. I'm serious about this stuff. And, and late in the show, like he's, he's he runs over a turtle for like in like for a month. He thinks it's living. It's it just complete disaster. Oscar Martinez, he's also gonna go insane. I, I feel like he's a pretty sane guy. I mean, not much to say about him. I'm gonna put Dwight in crazy. Uh, oh. uh, Dwight's just kind of a weird dude, to be quite honest. I mean. Doesn't really understand emotions and, you know, why Jim is pranking him and he just doesn't really understand, but I'm going to put him in crazy. Next up we have Phyllis. I'm going to put Phyllis in rational, but the reason she's not going to go in the same tier is because at one point she has a story about, you know, that her and Bob Vance were driving in Africa and they ran over a human being and just, just kept driving. So that's definitely an interesting little tidbit there. So that's why she's not going to go insane tier, but uh, she's gonna, just going to keep her in rational and move on to Ryan Howard. I've tried it like five different ways in my head and... Oh, got one. Um, I'm such a perfectionist mm -hmm. that I'd kind of rather not do it at all than do a crappy version. Who, in my opinion, is maybe insane? I'm going to put him in crazy. It depends on what Ryan Howard we're talking about, but I'm just going to put him in crazy. I feel like that evens out well. And Michael Scott at the end is insane. Like, here's just a good example. Like, he's on a date. He's doing great. As soon as he figures out it's a date, he turns into Date Mike. Date Mike loses it, and he just... Yeah, he just, it's a disaster. I, I'm gonna say the word again, Michael Scott's a disaster. He is. He's the most insane person on the show, quite possibly, and, uh, yeah, Michael Scott's insane. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and if I get 15 likes on this video, I'll do a tier list on the most popular office pranks. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend.